Hello, we're playing Disgaea 4 tonight. Let me make sure that it actually is picking up on the stream, and no, it's not. Okay, cool. Also, for some reason, it's trying to pick up uh, the Vol's VTuber. Let me let me just turn that off. <laughs> okay, now it's picking up Disgaea 4. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I did a little bit more off-screen grinding. Definitely not as much as I did in the last week, but... As you can see, everybody's a little more uh, primed up, and we've got some better stuff on, except for Valvatoris' sword, which today we're going to hop into the world of, because the game said, hey, to continue, you need to do uh, item world, and I was like, well, I could jump into the common sword that they gave me, but what if I bought a better sword, and we leveled that one up, and it'll last me a little bit longer. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to jump into this bloody dagger that I bought, which has uh, some decent, decent innocence inside of it. That's the, the people that live inside the sword world that make it stronger. So we'll try and we'll try and do this item world tonight. So we'll just uh, we'll hop right in there. And then we'll continue the story. Alright, so we jump straight into the Bloody Dagger. Yes. Uh, these enemies should be 16 and up. Since this is your first time, let me explain some things. In the item world, every floor you clear, the item will, le will level up and the enemies will get stronger. To get out, you must either progress 10 floors or use a Mr. Gentsy exit. For every 10 floors you clear, I'll give you another Mr. Gentsy exit for free. Use them with care. Every five floors, there will be root gates, mystery rooms, innocent towns, and sometimes even pirates. Plenty of things happen in the item world. Please try it out. If you'd like to know more, select help and I'll teach you. Bye-bye. So yeah, the item world is generally uh, pretty randomly generated. You see a lot of the geo panels in here. Random enemies, different like instances with uh, encounters in it. So, let's see, this is... Yeah, this is one of the gladiators. So this is one of the innocents I need to quell. So I need to beat up the innocent, I think, to, to enlist it. Subdue it, rather. Um, let's see, this is just... I think this is just a little bonus thing that if you hit it, it gives you extra bonus gauge. Speaking of which, what is the bonus gauge in here? You can get some pretty neat items, like stealing from enemies in here. Sometimes. Apparently, this one's not wearing anything. But, uh, this is definitely how I ground a lot of stuff out in Disgaea 5. Was just doing a lot of item world. Take this! But I think we're just gonna Your back is wide open. go through here and just kind of use the tower function, probably. This is, it. is how I'd probably go through this. I'm gonna do it. I got this. There. I'm so ready. That's generally how I just keep everybody like decently yeah. leveled together. Is just using the tower so ability. There. Come. There we go. And then we lift him Here I come. with Fenric, and then Valvatoras lifts Fenric. And then we absolutely wail on this guy. Oh, the innocent's gonna start fighting the other dudes too. Oh, they might, uh, they might actually kill the innocent before I get to it. I gotta be careful. Um, one. No, I'm gonna have to throw it, like, this way. Two, three, four. I also gotta be careful about what <laughs> I'm standing on in here, because there's, like, a square where I take 20% uh, damage here. So as long as I don't land on the green square, I'm fine. 
two, three, four, five, and he can move like pretty far, so. Here I come. Yes, okay. But could she actually cross that gap? Is that just, that's just a floor, isn't it? I don't think I could actually go through that. <laughs> um. Can I hit the innocent from here? here? I, I can hit, like, everything except for the innocent. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just beat up everything except for the innocent then, I suppose. Um, hit the magic guy first. Hey, cut that out. I need that guy. Oh god, that's actually a decent amount of damage. Oof. Oh, I, I stopped on the green square. That thing that I said that I shouldn't do, that thing. Hmm. Definitely need to finish the innocent this turn or else the enemies will kill it. This should be close enough, I assume. So ready. Let's just tower swing on him. Right there. And that should kill him, and then it's subdued. Yep, there we go. Cool. Now all we have to do is uh, beat the rest of this floor. Easy peasy. Bam. We don't have to keep watching the tower swing animation. We'll try and make this brisk. Kill this one. I think that's the last enemy is this little cat thing. No innocence this time, so it's just going to be wailing on everything. Yeah, the, the levels start increasing with each floor you go up, so now these things are level 22, 17, 17, 23. Like, it varies a little bit, but it's always a little spooker. Also, some of these, the squares, again, that they're standing on are pretty spooky. This one says Death Blow, enemy level up 10%. Attack minus 50%, no ranged. Like, it, it gets, uh, it gets pretty nasty. I wish that I had unlocked tower move, which would allow the, the tower itself to move instead of me having to throw everybody and then keep, like, climbing again and again. I'll teach you a lesson. I need enough mana to unlock that ability. Here I come! We'll go right here. Okay, there's nothing on that square, so I'm safe. This is it. Time to bust some balls. Um, where did I go for this? Huh. I need to figure out because Rez is the one that walks the it. least far. <laughs> Can he just? One, two, three. Okay, it's three squares. Rez only walks three squares. I'm so ready. There. Right there. There. I'm so ready. Uh huh. There. Right there. Ooh, I zoomed over to the other side of the map by pressing a different button. Forgive me. Pick 
Pick up Vol. Pick up Fuka. Pick up Val. And I think I should be able to hit things from here anyway. Yes, okay, who? Why was the rest of that only doing one? That was weird. Oh, that enemy leveled up. What level is she now? 25? It gets spooky, gotta be careful. This is the only one we can actually uh, reach. Here I come! I also got this new tower attack, so this one's pretty cool. It's called Tower Jump Rope. Apparently, I won't get away. And then he just spits at me. Hey, come back here! Uh, my guy is confused for some reason. Um, let's chase down the mage, I guess. That seems reasonable. to beat up everybody, but sometimes there's gatekeepers that stand on the gates and stop you from doing that, so you have to beat them up. I'll show you sardine power. Brace yourself, sardine! This is it! <sighs> I got this! There! I'm so ready! I got this! Yeah! Okay. Just form uh -huh. the tower up. Like I said, this is just my strat. Right this is how I deal with a lot of things in these games. Not an early Disgaea, though. Early Disgaea, they didn't let you do as many cool things with the towers. Take this. All right, come at me, folks. Oh, that's a lot of things. Oh, she magic changed. It's okay, Valvatorez is good, he's fine. Anybody that'll just die if I use a regular attack on them? I gotta hit the treasure chest, but I kinda just wanna, uh, not die. Um, spookiest thing are the things that can poison me, so I'm gonna say the Mothman and probably the Mushroom? I know Mothman can, and Mothman can also use magic, so let's take care of him first. Ooh, Val's taking a bit of a beating. That's okay. Let's take care of the guy with magic. Sardines! The cat's hitting me pretty hard. Why is the cat hitting me so hard? 
It doesn't seem like it has anything special on it. Alright, time to switch out Val in for Fenric here, here at the bottom of the tower. And since this cat's giving me so much trouble, let's uh, take care of it now. Okay. Uh, mushroom now. And then the cat, and then we go for the treasure chest and the gatekeeper. I think at the start of the next map, we'll use Martin to heal up Val a little bit. Oh, we really can't, uh... Be very careful about uh, where we land here. We do not want to stand on the green stuff. Here I come. What's in the treasure chest? It's a yummy kimchi. <laughs> she still got that thing on her, but also like that—that that also means that she can't shoot me anywhere. Uh... Oh damn, she's got like a really good. Oh wait. I was gonna say she has a really good gun, but it's because she magic changed an enemy into a gun. That's why it's like blinking red like that. I forgot for a second that she turned the Mothman into the gun, even though I was literally just talking about it. Literally just talking about it. There we go. Okay, what's in this room? Uh, for some reason a mage with a fist weapon on. Although he's standing on something called enemy turbo times three that I don't like. Uh, super boost stats and abilities for enemies on this panel. He's just three times stronger and that's scary. forever counter for some reason a mage with a baseball bat she's not got any weapon he's got like really good binoculars this one has really good uh, shoes which I'm a little tempted to try and steal so that I can finally upgrade Fenric's shoes he's just wearing the same fucking slippers <laughs> we'll see how she lands I'll show you sardine power. Here I come. Here I come. You all ready for this? <laughs> Time to bust some balls. What? This? Okay. I got this. Swarm up. Yeah. Um, can I attack anything from here? I don't even know what. To... I could probably destroy the. No, I can't destroy it. I gotta hit it. Yeah, take out the enemy turbo times three. That thing's annoying. They might actually live through tower attacks if I hit them while they're standing on that. Okay. There. What was the blue one? Ally boost. Yeah, let's let's keep that one. <laughs> right there. I'm gonna do it. Let's just throw out a quick fire here. Just destroy this uh, chest. Give me the treasure. 5,000 money. She could probably destroy something too. Let's take care of the enemy level up. That's also annoying. Oh, she leveled up from blowing up that silly little block. Here I come. All right, Martin, I need you to heal Val. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't a full heal. Unfortunate. Uh, she doesn't have a weapon. It's not as spooky. He's got... 
Mm, this one's probably the spookiest. He's 27. Get him out of here. There we go. Endure Val. Okay, who is the next spookiest? The orc, I guess? But I really want to steal his glasses. Oh wait, no, not his glasses. I want to steal the Mothman's uh, shoes. So let's actually kill the orc. Sardines! Put your heart into it. <laughs> Thank goodness they're missing and doing basically no damage to me. Then we take care of the female Valkyrie here and steal from the Mothman, hopefully. I guess it depends on how far up the the ladder uh, gravity is. I think gravity's at like the very top. None of these are, like, super scary for me, right? Okay, I don't think so. There we go. And we can give Val another little heal here. Thank you. And this this thing is surrounded. Yeah, there we go. We'll just let him hit somebody. Oh, he's not surrounded. I'm dumb. Steal from him. Uh, she doesn't have a steal ability. I need to use a stealing hand. I only get two of them, I realized just now. Ah, oh, 1% chance. That is... Ooh. Oh, her her ability to steal is not very good. What, what the hell? I need better hands, I think. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, go for it. Yeah, kind of figured. That makes sense to me. Would I have had a b higher chance if I had been behind him? Probably. Alright, Mothman, who are you going for now? Can I get behind him this turn? No? What if... Fenric throws gravity? Here I come! Alright, get behind him and see if that does anything. I know it's like only a 1% chance, but what if it was... No, it does la It does basically nothing. It increased the chance on everything else except for the cross trainers. Yeah, that's a miss. I don't think I'm going to be able to get these. Ow. Alright, I think maybe I just need to stop messing with this guy. If this doesn't work this time... And it, it probably won't. It's a 1% chance. But if it doesn't work this time, then... Uh, what if I use the other hand? Nope. Alright. Yeah. Kind of figured. Should have figured. We'll just kill him and end it. Welcome to level 5 of the item world. In the item world, two gates will appear at every five levels, and depending on the gate you enter, the route will branch off. These two routes lead you down the path of leveling your item or improving your innocence. In the item leveling route, there's a higher chance of level spheres and item improvement rooms appearing. 
In the Innocent Improvement route, you get more events that power up Innocence, as well as a higher spawn rate of Wild Innocence. Oh, and there's an Innocent on this floor right now anyway. So, pretty good. This is a mystery room. Okay, so there's there's actually three gates then. Uh, innocent boost. Next stage boost, just item boost. And then whatever the mystery room is. Okay, well, first of all, where is my portal? Oh, it's like way down here. I'll show you. Here I come. Sardine! Let's just try and take care of the innocent first. Here I come. I got this. Yeah. Okay. That's a sentry. That's a pretty this. good basic innocent Here to I have. Go. Okay. Uh-huh. Here I go. I'm gonna do it. Uh, he's pretty strong. I should just use mega fire on something, honestly. Also, I was not paying attention to what any of these blocks do. I should actually look at some of these squares that I'm standing on. Invincible? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, but that means I can't kill the uh, innocent this turn. Boo. Boo. All right. Well, I can't kill him either. He's right next to me and I can't do anything to him. Kill the old man. The old man that looks like a little boy. Uh, can she even hit anything? She can't even hit that thing. Here. Oh, you still can't. Is this really not targetable? I thought that these were things you could hit. Oh, well. Um, resist gain, just to give Val some protection. I thank you. Sardines. All right, I know I can't hit him. I can hit this thing. And then end turn. See how she plays out. Well, at least it's landing on the invincible square. Uh oh. Uh. Oh, there's an encroach in this room. Okay, so encroach just uh, gets bigger. It starts taking over more of the other squares, and it starts combining them. So now, uh, I think invincibility is gone. No, invincibility is here now. That's, uh, that's spooky. Defense go down, enemy level go up, level 7 boost. Everything, everything here is getting a little spookier as time goes on. Um. I really don't want to land on the allied damage 20% square, so let's not. Ah, can't, uh, can't do anything there. I threw, I think I threw him too far. I have to beat up this guy first. Perish. Okay, thank goodness. Now I can climb yeah. the tower again. Here I come. And... Stop beating up my innocent! I need that! Perish. Boink. Boink. Oh god, he's almost dead. Okay, I need to be careful. Uh, go. I need to make sure I get this killing blow, like, right now. Yeah. 
Let's also Here not stand on ally damage. Yeah. Yes. There we go. I subdued the innocent. As long as I don't kill one enemy, I can pick one of these portals to go through. As long as I have to be very careful and not kill Gang Muto. And I'll be fine. Dave says, what the hell is even going on in this game? I'm inside a sword, Dave. I'm inside the item world. So, uh, things are kind of random. There's little colored blocks everywhere that affect uh, every panel I step on. But when I'm done with it, my sword will be stronger. It is weird, and I love it. We have advanced to the mystery room. What will be inside? What the hell is this? What, what the fuck is this? Onmyo trainee. Gargoyle. There's like a line here. What is, what is this room? Is a witness? Welcome to the Netherworld Voting Center. Today we're holding general evil actions. Please be sure to cast your evil little vote. Oh, okay. Uh, can I can I have this item for free? Oh, free plunder hand, nice. Uh I wanna I'll I'll vote for this guy, I think. I'm trying to fill out this play paperwork. Please don't bother me right now. Oh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I choose this one. Oh, that's how you make your vote, huh? Is it my turn? I've been practicing my curse of just in case. Who should I vote for? Maybe that guy caught trying to steal my honey pot. You're... I'm sorry? Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I'm here to cast my ballot too, dude. I just write in the name of the person I like, right? Or was it the person I hate? I made my way to the voting booth, but how the heck am I supposed to hold a pencil? Your problem, not mine. I'm gonna cast a blank ballot, just like last time. Who can I trust in this world other than myself? What's the deal with voting? I just write down someone's name and then they're in charge? What's the deal with voting? I probably shouldn't say this, but I don't know the first thing about any of the candidates. Most people don't when they go to the voting booth and it's really sad. Do you know who you're going to vote for? I did my research and came prepared, but of course my vote is a secret. To think my single vote might determine the very fate of the netherworld, it makes me feel kind of nervous. Who should I vote for? Okay. But what a really odd room. Do you have anything else to say, ma'am? Can I, can I actually do anything here? I think that was it. I'm pretty sure if I keep talking to this guy, and this is something that happens in these games sometimes, if you keep annoying NPCs in these rooms, they will pick a fight with you. And I really don't want to pick a fight with a guy who's level 3000, so I don't think I will. I think I just leave. Mew want to go back to the item world? Yeah. I'm out of here. Uh, reverse damage and forever counter? That's pretty good, right? As long as nobody else stands on it. Here I come! Ha! Reverse damage. I'm a little scared. Hold on. Let me make sure I figure out where that is. Where's the reverse damage? Damage is reversed for character on this panel. That's still kind of vague. But you know what? I'm willing to Here I'm willing to chance it. Here I come. Sardines. This is the end there. Here I come. I got this. Ha. There. I got this. Here I go. The Here translation go. leaves a little bit to be desired. Here I go. My turn. There.
Actually, hold on. Martin, once again, I need you to give Val some resistance there, because I don't want him to die to magic. There we go. Ha! Now make the tower. Um, tower swing. Anything that will die to tower swing right here. Okay, the cat. Okay. End turn. See what happens. I'm so ready. So no match for me. Oh, it, it healed me. Okay. Alright, so I just uh, don't attack anybody that's on a green square and I'm fine. Val's invincible as long as he's on this green square. Definitely not him. He keeps staying on the green square. Walk around me. Come on, man. Walk around me. Uh, which gates are these? This is the item level gate, and this is the innocent boost gate. I guess I want to go to the innocent boost gate. Climb the tower. Whoops. Here oh, I Taking a long time to climb that tower. Attack this treasure. Got a new bow. Alright, now come after me and stay off the green squares, you weirdo. He's dead. It's a big tower. It takes a moment to climb it all the way. There we go. Stage clear. Which gate do you... Oh, that's good. It gives me a choice. Um, Give me the innocent boost gate, honestly. Do the root bonus. There's an innocent here. While you're diving in the item world, you'll randomly get events like this where innocence will suddenly appear. There's a higher chance of this event happening if you're progressing on the innocent improvement route, okay? Just keep in mind that once you leave the item world, the locations of these kinds of events will change. And just so you know, this event is for tutorial purposes only. Normal rules don't apply this time. Okay, well thank you. That's a level 28 dietitian. Okay. No tower on this block, which is annoying. Ally move damage. Enemy weaken 50%. God, these squares suck. I don't like these squares. I'll teach you a lesson. Here I come! Brace yourself. Ha! Watch this. Here I come. I got this. There. Uh. Right there. Okay. How's this? Right there. My turn. There. Uh. My turn. Ha. Ha. I thank you. Alright, we need to take care of the innocent, like, early this time, I feel like. Uh... The encroach is gonna be annoying, too. Oh, he can't move! I already moved him! Shoot! 
Uh oh. That's okay. He can't move either. Why can't he move too? Why can none of my characters move? I don't understand it. Oh well. There. I subdued the innocent. Uh, Fuka, Fenric, and Val are just on their own right now, unfortunately. I hope nothing bad happens to them. At least they're not standing on bad squares, is the best I could say. There you go! There you go! Fuka's definitely the one in the most trouble. You just fart on me! At least you got some good counters in there. That's nice. Yeah, hit hit him with bombastic. Wanna get I'm strong. That's pretty decent damage. Get on this tower though. Huh. Dual canine attack. Oh, new attack. I haven't seen this one yet. Show me dual canine attack. Uh, do it on... Yeah, do it on this guy, because I need him out of the way as fast as possible. Dual canine fist! That was pretty cool. Not very strong, but pretty cool. Can I climb this tower now? Okay, cool. Um, Impaler Prince on oh, this guy. I'll teach you a lesson. I don't think he can climb the tower. Nope. Unfortunate. Here I come! Oh, I walked right through that! Oh, the ally move damage. That sucks. Well. I forgot about that for a moment. Ooh, that was nasty. That hurt a lot. Not as much as I thought. Uh, tower swing on this guy because the tie down hurt really bad. Yeah, just kill him yourself, Val. There you go. What are hey. you doing? Oh, we're we're a little dizzied, apparently. Uh, Vol's still hanging on. It would be better if somebody else took over for him for a moment. <laughs> there we go. Um, who is spookier? 31, 28, 29. Probably this guy. Can you climb the tower now, Val? I probably should have had you do that before we beat up that guy. Oh, 
Oh, that's it? The other one's not gonna try and attack me? I do love the tower strategy. It's goofy. Alright, now we have ally move damage on the encroach, which is, uh, bad. Oh, now you want to hit me. At least that's not ally move damage. Oh, I can't use tower attacks. <laughs> I can't use tower attacks because we we the the encroach hit the uh, no tower. Uh, these geo panels are killing me. Oh, another mystery room. What could it be? But if I just go through the mystery room and Everyone, not do this. Here I come. Oh, interesting. She is level 500 item worlder. Looks like you found me. What do you think about the item world? It's a little tough for newcomers to get used to, but it's pretty awesome. To celebrate our meeting, I'll give you a single Mr. Jensi exit. Just be careful not to get yourself killed. Hey, thanks. I'm, I'm afraid to keep talking to her because she's level 500, so I think I'll just uh, go away now. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the item world. Okay. This doesn't look so bad. Things are starting to get a little strong. It's 34 and 36. A little spooky. But you know, that's that's what I get for going into uh, not the common sword they told me to go into. Take this! Actually, Rez is strong enough that I should just use him to attack something. <laughs> Maybe even two somethings, I don't know. Uh, she's resistant to magic. Give me the, the orc. Hit the, hit the orc. There. It didn't say it would kill, but it'll still deal, like, decent damn. Oh, this will kill. Can I hit both of them? Yeah. There you go, pet. And then Martin, give Val just a little heal here. I thank you. This will probably kill it. It doesn't say it will, but uh, I feel very strongly that it will. That that block just moved. Hello? Why did why does block move? That was a living block. That's weird. What a funny little freak. I want to beat up that block just for moving. Well, hold on, everybody else. This block's weird. Ow.
Don't overload me with healing. Yeah. Really just standing here and uh, eating up anything that comes near me. What's in this chest? Ooh, 7,000 money. Don't mind if I do. Um, this is pretty close, right? Here I come. Yeah, that's close enough. He can't come at me because he's the gatekeeper. He keeps the gate. He just has to sit there and, and wait for me to approach him. He actually has a uh, lower movement than he does throw, so I have to be careful about how far I throw them for this. Ah, that didn't kill. Strong gatekeeper. Oh, thank goodness, he missed. Loser! Magical vest and a light buckler. Just stuff to sell. All right, so we're at eight out of 10, almost done. Uh, he has evade on yellow, which is annoying. I could just uh, destroy it. I'll show you. Here I come. Come Going on. Get me. Yeah. Beat up this block. It's annoying me. Oh god. Okay. Thought I might have made a big mistake there. This is it! Here I come! Time to bust some balls! Watch this! I am so ready! Here I go! Let me just get a little extra damage out while he's on the field. Then he climbs the tower. So ready. Uh -huh. She could do the same thing, honestly. There. Right there. I'm gonna do it. What can you hit with Mega Fire? Uh, probs this thing, right? He's pretty. Um, no, this one. Hit him with the Mega Fire. Closer to those two. Can I just hit them both with wind? Yeah, hit them both with wind. Oh, the wind was actually pretty good. My turn. Forgive me. There. Sadies. Kill the zombie. And then wait for them to come to me. Uh-oh. That's a little spooky. Surely not that spooky, though. How much are you gonna hurt me? Pretty good, actually. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't want to chance it. So, let's just... Here I come. Throw him down, and then we'll do target jump rope on him. Perish. Oh, he uh, is strong. Why is he so strong? Why was that? Ah, because he was standing on enemy turbo times three. That's why. Let's try it again, without him being on enemy turbo times three this time. Here I come. There we go. That was more, but he's still, like, real hefty. Ah! 
Ow. This guy is a pain in my ass. Die. Here I come. All right. There we go. Just have to take care of the slime and we move on to the next floor. Wow, he's also pretty hefty. Enemies are starting to get kind of hefty. Alright, level nine. One more and then we can move on. This room's uh, pretty spooky, too, in its own right. 38. Ooh. Two 38s. Three 38s. There's a lot of spooky dudes in this one. What, uh, what are all the blocks do? Let me check that out first. Move minus one. Decrease fire element for characters on this panel. Magic range plus one. Counter hits. Attack minus 50% SP damage. Okay. I think I can work around this. Everyone, let's go! Val's real hurt. Perish! Sardines! You all ready for this? We got a few I hurt characters this. actually. <laughs> Just two more floors, that's all. Actually, hold on. I can get damage out of like all of these. Perish. Maybe not all of them. They're standing right next to the guy. Maybe I shouldn't do that. This is it. Here He'll I counter them, and uh, most of them this. are pretty weak. Watch this. We'll just attack this block. I got this. Here I go. I'm so ready. Huh? <laughs> Can I steal from this guy? What would he even have? Nothing. He he literally has nothing. This one enemy just has nothing on him. That sucks. Right there. I'm gonna do it. This time I can actually use his uh, mega fire on both of these enemies. Weaken them a little bit, maybe. There. Oh yeah, that was good damage. Thanks, Rez. <laughs> Extra experience. Oh, I didn't even uh, plan to do that. That's fine, though. There. Forgive me. There. There it is. Just topping off. Climb the tower. Attack the guy. It says it's not gonna do a whole lot to him. That's spooking me. That's spooking me a lot. Now it's killed him. The game just lied to me. Oh, that block is moving around a little bit. I don't like seeing the item worlders uh, magic change. That makes them very tough and annoying. What is the block that's moving around? Oh, they're buffing each other too. What are you? Move minus one? Okay, you're not as spooky as I thought you might be. Let's do our best. Yeah. 
New game plus. Kill it. Yeah, you guys come this way. Ow! My defense go down. You need to die quickly, so I'm just gonna do this. There we go. You were the spookiest one in the whole bunch. Can she hit him from here? She can. Okay, cool. She's got a decent amount of health. She could probably survive something if they throw something weird out. Why do you have wind just because you have a wand? Oh, he lived that. Bastard. And he has star magic, too. I don't even have star magic yet. Get out of here. I need to move on to the last level. Alright, there he is, the item world boss. I just have to beat him. He is 47. Alright. <laughs> that's, uh, that's spooky. That's mighty spooky. 39 and 35 is also pretty spooky. Like, all these enemies are kind of... Oof. You know what I mean? I'll teach you a lesson. Here I come! Brace yourself. Sardines! <laughs> Them are some big numbers, Petrichor. Some big numbers indeed. I'm also scared because uh, some of these enemies are on panels that say attack plus 50%. Time to I don't like the balls. sound of that. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot to fear in this, uh, in this world. Okay, okay. that's, that's at least, uh, promising. That right that thing there. can take a lot of damage. Right there. Okay. There. Uh, I could shoot this teacup for some reason. I don't know why I would, but why not? There. Here I go. Because fuck it, I guess. It's got a weird tongue. Your wind ability. Yeah. Huh. Um, I might just keep Martin like off the tower so that they can do healing on whoever's at the bottom. Just keep them safe if I can. Huh. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that for now. Come at me, brothers. Oh god, they are really coming at me. Petricor says, love to be deployed, make a weird noise, then stack. That's just that's just your life when we're doing the tower strat. That's just how we do. I actually want to be on the attack plus 50%. Come at me, brothers. Oh no, the brothers are coming at me. 
When you hang with the brothers, the brothers, the brothers. We're doing well, just have to hold a defensive position. There. Top him off, make sure he's good and healthy. Here they come. Let's make sure he can resist some magic. There. Here I come. Here I come. What happens when the yellow box gets to the top? Uh, nothing as far as I know. It just, for some reason, this particular box is actually secretly a monster and it just kind of moves around. So it fucks with these colored spaces. But it's only a move minus one, so I don't mind it moving around so much. That doesn't affect my strategy that much. Just gonna keep waiting on them. Here they come. Shield. And then uh, you get on the tower now because it's starting to get spooky. Uh, does he not have any? Yeah, I've used all of his SP. He doesn't have any of the special uh, tower attacks anymore. We're just gonna have to rely on good old regular attacks. But, uh, they're still doing the trick, so it's okay. <laughs> Get out of my face, Smokey. I'll start as many fires as I want to in the forest. I'll start a hundred fires in the forest before I let this company die. Here I come. Here I come. Ha! The slow climb. Okay, well, I didn't uh, plan that one out so well. I don't think the item boss is going to come at me. Oh, wait, never mind. Item boss is definitely coming at me. Thankfully, he is uh, weak as hell. Never mind. Which is weird. Because wasn't he like 59? <laughs> Why did he take so much damage? Why was that so easy? Alright, thanks for the, the demon hunter. To Innocent Town. I do recall Big Number. He was like 59 or something. It was weird. It's the Item World Hospital. I want to get treated. Oh, I get a bloody orb. This is an even better orb for my casters. What is the... I got a lot of items here. It's a lot of resistance. There's like no int on this thing, so I actually want to put it on uh, the healer instead of the actual caster. You don't know if feeding Martin blood is a good idea? What do you think feeds the blood lily, Petricor? What do you think goes into the blood lily? There we go. Uh, is this bow better than Martin's current bow? It certainly is. Let's put this on them now. What about that fist? Is that better than this fist? 
Jeez, it really is. What about the Texas Revolver? Is the Texas Revolver better than theirs? Uh, yeah, by a little bit. What other items did I get? I got a, like, decent amount of items. Like, some defensive equipment. Trench coat, magical vest. Uh, we'll worry about it later. Got an extra Minster Gensi exit, which we don't need right now. Yeah, the lily, not Martin. The lily's part of Martin. It's it's in their tail, I assume, is how it works. Ooh, treasure. 7,000 money. If you want to go deep, the item world is the only game in town. I wish you luck on your journey back to take it to the limit. Which do you prefer, zombie-flavored curry or curry-flavored zombie? In case you were wondering, I love them both equally. Axel, what are you doing here? <laughs> hey guys, fancy meeting you here. Now before you ask, no, I am not lost. I'm just checking the stage I'll be performing on. Uh, Alright. Weirdo. Uh, here's the dietician. Why are you staring at me? Is there something in my teeth? Is there anything else here? There's this item world exclusive uh, Senate thing. Submit one single suggestion regarding the item you are currently in. Would you like to enter? Uh, sure, why not? All is for my lord. Senate hearings. Oh, it takes like a decent amount of mana though. You can change the name of the item for free. Like a lot of mana. Still costs 4,000 to change the weapon looks, which is crazy to me because you can do that for free in Disgaea 5. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really care so much. Let's just uh, return to the item world. All right, take me out. Yeah, let's leave the item world. How much better did this sword get? Pretty good. It got pretty good. Why is the approval percent so low? Because the senators hate me. Because senator demons are pains in my ass. You have to bribe them to raise their approval percent, and I haven't been bribing them a lot. Welcome back, you made it in one piece. I'll put the item I was holding onto in your item bag. Make sure it's in there. Yeah, and now I can put it on Valva Torres because that's who I bought it for in the first place. The level 10 bloody dagger, so much better than what I already had on him. Oof, okay. Um, as far as the rest of this stuff is concerned. Like... The dress clothes are not better than trench coats. This buckler's not. This trench coat is okay, but... It's got, like, a lot of magic resistance on it. Hmm. Magical vest... Who has the least magic resistance? 234 is 217. 166, which is terrible. Yeah, probably probably Vol needs it the most. Yeah, definitely. Give him that trench coat. A lot of trench coats out here. Put on the magic vest, I guess? Why are these not, like, really different?
Hmm. You smack the trench coat off me to reveal a smaller, trenchier coat underneath. You're just wearing two trench coats and a, and a little orb that you ponder underneath your dual trench coats. I'm not really happy about these uh, magical vests. I don't think I'll put them on. Uh, maybe on her, she's not wearing a whole lot. Yeah, it's probably better than this, at least. I don't think the rest of it's, like, super exciting. Yeah, I think, I think everything else here is, uh, stuff I can sell. Because I'm pretty sure this other bow is not as good. Yeah, okay. The rest of this is sellable. These would be good if I had monsters, but I don't use monster units in these games. I use them in uh, Disgaea using the Beastmaster, and the Beastmaster's in this game, too, but, like, I don't know which, like, there's, there's so few unit spaces that I have to use up. There we go. All right, we finally got our big weapon. Everybody's, uh, way more leveled up and kitted out. So, let me just make sure that I have everything, like, evened out in the cheat shop here. Yeah, every, it's starting at level 0. Uh, 110, 110. This is fine. So, we just move on with the story now. Finally. We may now, hold on, we may now access the Forbidden Chamber thanks to your level 10 item. The area can now be accessed at any time, even without a level 10 item. Shall we get going now? I can't believe how securely this place is locked up. I can't wait to see what's in there. Alright, the Forbidden Cell. Took me a while to get here, but now we're here. Warden Axel? To fulfill my lord's ambition of usurping the regime, we must first take over Hades. It shall be used as our foothold for further invasions, from our proletariat seat of power to the very executive office of the president. Cease this futile battle now. Upon your surrender, we may or may not grant you a valid position as well. Really? You will? What kind of position? Under my boot! Comic relief? <laughs> Die or be a toady? Yeah, that's generally, like, Axel's options in these games. <laughs> that's perfect. My court jester. Damn it! You know what? Screw you guys. I want to see you try to talk like that after you see what's behind this barrier. Are you sure about this, Warden? What's gonna happen now? Everything will be fine, young master. We'll quell these anarchists together and earn our reputations back. Then I'll get promoted to a higher position than Hades Warden, and eventually... What the hell is that? Which one of you fools reopened this basin in Hades? I don't know who you think you are, but I hope you're ready to face and be torn apart by the most devastating and catastrophic abomination of your life! 
Wow, they're really hamming it up. I like this this voice actress that's working on this one. I am the fear. I am the dread. I am the disaster. I am the calamity. And most of all, I am... She who sunk the world into blazing chaos. The final weapon. She's... The final weapon? The final boss already? This is so lame. Wait a second. Have I seen her before? Have you? Now come and challenge me, hero. I'll implant the grimmest despair into the deepest pit of your soul. <laughs> Before we start, let me tell you something. I am not a hero. What? <coughs> huh? You're not a hero? So you're not Desko's enemy? Nope. Yes, he is! They're all your enemies! Go ahead and give them despair or whatever it is you do! No. No, I don't think I will. And who are you? Oh, he's gonna say the oh, dark hero, Axel. For asking. I'm Warden Axel, the most powerful demon in Hades. His old title used to be the dark hero, Axel. That would be really funny if that came in right about now. Way back from Disgaea 2. You're wrong. Desko is the most powerful because Desko is the final boss. No, I'm the most powerful. I'm the all-powerful warden. That's the monster that all of the prisoners were so scared of? I don't understand. Hmm. Seriously, I think I've seen her before, but I can't remember where. The final boss is supposed to fight a hero. I'm not going to waste my time on some peons. Oh, stop complaining. Just follow orders and get rid of them, like any final boss would do. Okay, then. Desko will kill you all, just like a final boss would do. First, I'll start with you. Oh, she gave him the laser beam eyes. Oh no, Axel's gonna die again. Axel! <laughs> Not again. He died again. <laughs> no! What an Axel! How many, how many times are we gonna eat this bit? Remember, she's the monster who attacked me. What? Are you saying she's the one who killed you and sent you to Hades? I'm not dead. I bet this nightmare was caused by her knocking me unconscious. Bitch, you are dead. This is hell. Oh, it's her. Desko must impress her. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Fear me, you fools! And realize that only heroes can defeat a final boss! Now, who wants to die next? Is it you? Ah, what? Don't look at me! Stop! I'm the son of the president! <laughs> Disappear! Help! Someone help me! Okay, kids, stop sniveling so much. We'll help you. And now, by helping you, I I've become a hero. Still alive? 
Uh, he fainted. You, Disco. Bitch. If you want to call yourself a final boss, then keep this in mind. Patrick Horse says, "Power word disappear, President Sun." <laughs> I cast vanish, President Sun. A strong defense is fundamental. You must first receive your opponent's attacks in a dignified manner. Uh, really? Desco had no idea. It is absolutely unacceptable for you to deal lethal damage on your first turn. It completely ruins the balance of the game. This is very meta. I cannot approve of someone like you being the final boss. In fact, no one would approve of such a lousy game if it had that. As expected of my lord, that must be the most biased opinion I've ever heard. <laughs> must annihilate every single living creature. That's what it said in the textbook that Desko's daddy gave her. That's such a lie. I've never heard of any textbooks like that before. It's not a lie. Desko is a final boss. I'll kill you all. All right, come at me. You weird little octopus. All right, what is this square? No ranged, huh? Uh, I can work around that. What is the rest of this? Disperse damage, and then the green is no entry. What? Why the hell is that that one blinking nine? Why? Why is the little box blinking nine? I don't get that. Do I have to wait nine turns for it to blow up or something? Very weird. Very odd. Well, we'll see what happens. I'll teach you a lesson. <clears throat> How strong is everything in here? Only 21? Oh uh, yeah, this is this is gonna be easy. I was facing way tougher stuff in the item world. I screwed my balance. Here I come. I can do anything in my dream. Time to bust some balls. Yeah. I'm so ready. I got this. Here I go. Here I come. Whoops, that is not yeah. what I meant to do. Okay. There. Right there. I'm gonna do it. There. Bang. Oh. There. This will probably be a good room to grind in later. Here I come. Here I come. All right, now you guys come to me since you can't do ranged attacks on me. Break yourself upon my body and all the good armor that I I fell asleep. They put me to sleep. They put me to sleep. <laughs> ah! I have to wait. Well, that's annoying. All right, I'm not asleep anymore. You fools! take care of these mothmen so they don't keep putting me to sleep. Very annoying. Alright. Val is taking a bit of damage here. It's time to break out Fenric. Uh, I'm still on a no range space. I also just screwed up. Uh oh. Whoops. That's okay. Just a few mistakes is fine. It makes it more interesting. A lot of counters going around. A lot of counters. Okay, 
we climb back on the the big Fenric tower. I haven't been looking at that block. I wonder if I was right and it'll blow up in like nine turns. How, how many turns deep are we right now? Oh, it's down to two. Okay, cool. I don't know what that's going to do to that area that she's in. Flaming Pancakes? Was that one of the monster's names? Furio, Jagan, Celio, Jaja? I know that they randomized these names, and so some of them are just, like, goofy. That's a hell of a name, yeah. Uh, kill me the Furio, I guess. I just need a way out with Fenric. There we go. Okay, that sounded like, yep. It totally did. It just needed nine turns. All right. All right, Fenric, I need you to throw. Because you were hurt now. You know, for being weaker than me, these guys actually hit pretty hard. All right, now we just go up there to Desco and we're we're done. I'm coming, Desco, any second now. Here I go. Here we go. Now we can start swinging on her. Alright, what are you gonna do, Desco? That's a pretty cool attack, I guess. I suppose. But are you carrying, oh like, nine other people when you do it? No? Then that's why you lost. You should have just been doing that. That's the strongest attack in the game. By Odin's beard? They defeated that monster! By Odin's beard? How do you know what Odin is? Tyrant Valvatoris! He is for real! How in Hades did he regain his power? Which legend says he lost? Sardines, of course! Sardines? Absolutely. You guys should indulge in them as well. They will make you stronger. <laughs> he really just buys into the sardine bit. He's just like, you really should try sardines. They're full of omega-3 fatty acids, and they're actually really good for your heart and your blood. Desco lost. Desco lost against an enemy who wasn't even a hero. So, so, does that mean... That Desco isn't a final boss after all? Is she going to be abandoned again? <laughs> a 
Okay, calm down. What? Did you say abandoned? <laughs> yes. Dusko was cast out from the human world and abandoned. Because she's useless. <laughs> Vetricra says, I love the president's son still just on the floor. Yeah, you notice who's not still on the floor, by the way? Axel! That coward! He probably just ran away! The human world? You mentioned something earlier about being the final weapon. Were you, by any chance, created by a human? Yes. Desko's daddy is a human. Created by a human? I mean, th th that's absolutely absurd! <laughs> Humans have created not just a normal demon, but a final boss, the highest of all demon ranks? What could they possibly be plotting? Why don't they just keep focusing on sardine research? That's that's what he's really impressed with by, by human tech. And what is the corrupterman doing allowing the humans to pursue such madness? What is the president thinking? Judging by this blockhead here, I assume the corruptment isn't thinking at all. Am I the only one left to do this after all? Must I teach a lesson to the unruly humans as well as the rotten corruptment? Yes, my lord. And I believe that usurping the regime is the key to doing both. Huh. Indeed! Then I accept this duty placed before me. Trinies, demons, or humans, I will turn their worlds into Hades to teach them all a good lesson. We'll make them all Prinnies, and then I'll instruct right every one of them. There, right here, right now, to overthrow the current corruptment and to Hadefy all worlds by forming the Hades Party. Bravo! Your wish is my command. However, that name sounds a bit too straightforward. We should discuss this later. Come with me, Desko. Huh? But, but, but Desko isn't really a final boss. Indeed you are not. You're still too inadequate to be a final boss. But I will train you so that one day, you will make a magnificent final boss. But Desko was defeated. How can a defeated final boss ever become a magnificent final boss? My lord, I'm afraid Hades might open some uncreative jokes. Do not be ashamed of your loss. There are tons of final bosses out there who have climbed their way back after a defeat. Besides, only those who have experienced failure and downfall can become stronger. Yeah, Desko, haven't you played any games? The final boss sometimes shows up about halfway through the game. And sometimes they beat the heroes, and sometimes they get beat. And then they go and become stronger, and that's how they become the final boss. There's lots of paths up to the final boss. Really? So, so, should Desko let go of her shame that came with her defeat? No, let it make you stronger. Yes. So long as you get right back up after her defeat, you'll be fine. Will Desko be able to fight a final battle against a hero someday? I have no doubt about that. When you become a magnificent final boss and spread your evilness, a hero will surely confront you. Will Desko be able to pull off three transformations and bribe the hero by offering them half of the world? Of course, if you can keep up with my training. I promise to push you until you obtain the power of a worthy final boss. Three transformations? That's a lot. Going through two transformations in any final boss in any game is usually quite a bit, but three? That means so four Desco, forms. Come with me. Four forms for a final boss? She is ready to become a magnificent final boss. Oh, my lord. There 
goes another one of your promises. The final weapon, Desco, was sold on joining the team. No way! She attacked me! How can I be on the same team as some... Desco is going to become a magnificent final boss. I hope I will have your blessings, Big Sis. B Big Sis? Harlot, says Rez. Hello, Rez. Welcome to the chat. Who is the harlot that you were talking about? Yes, Desco's big sis. Oh, does that make Fuka the daughter of the president, the human president, who I assume is the one that created Desco? Oh, she's your younger sister. You two better get along then. You've been lurking since the beginning, just working? Oh, well, been nice having you in. not do you see any family resemblance between us two she said she was created by humans weren't you t also but <clears throat> you were created by humans as well correct yeah but i'm the product of the love between my mom and dad and how dare you make me say that <laughs> i was made the old-fashioned way uh, guys, they even scouted the final boss into being their teammate. You finish with a harlot at work. Rez says I get a lot of leeway. I, I don't understand this. I don't even know what you meant when you said harlot. Why, why was that like the first thing that you said whenever you came into chat? <laughs> I'm starting to think this regime usurpation thing could actually happen. Let's go, everyone. We're going to turn the worlds into Hades. The battle, which ended with Valvatores's victory, soon triggers the birth of a new political force that will threaten the entire netherworld. In the future, people will look back at this battle as the rise of the tyrant. But at this point, this is only the beginning of when the world started heading towards corruption. Mm, huh? What happened? Unfortunately, Rez, I cannot scroll back up in the chat, I don't think. Uh, it, it's, it's very difficult too with this, with this chat box that I have on the side of the screen. Hold on. I actually can go into Streamlabs and I'll look at it. Let's see. Let's see. I see Patrick say make all of them printies. I'm afraid Hades might open some uncreative jokes. To be fair, floaty tentacle back she had in the fight might be the first form, and then you said harlot. Uh, yeah, I'm still not seeing it, Rez. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm just not, uh, I'm just not making the connection. Oh, oops. <laughs> I almost forgot about him. Hey, you're coming with us, too. Huh? Where to? Never mind, that doesn't matter. Why do I gotta tag along with you guys? Why? Don't you know what's going on right now? You should read the newspaper. The Netherworld President's only son, Sir Death Amiesel, dies! Three exclamation marks. Oh, the line the character said in the game was, I can't work alongside some, and they had like a little line dash, and then you s said harlot to end it for them. I see. I understand now. I get it now. 
I was not placing uh, what was happening in the game alongside what you said. Also, I couldn't scroll up in the chat and see what they said in the game. Your father must be very upset to hear about this news. You should come along to relieve his heart as soon as possible. <laughs> All right, what's the between episodes credit scene here? We caught wind of some shocking news after we quelled the brutal criminals of Hades. I can't believe they announced that I died. Sardines are not Clupini. <laughs> they are Clupiformis Clupiodi, to be specific. Who cares? Although Japanese sardines and round herrings are Clupidi, and Japanese anchovies belong to the Angrology gang. The hell? Next time, episode four, Hades, Heysayara Army. If you don't trust sardines, make sure you eat their guts too. Desco will be showing off. Okay. Learn so much about sardines in these games. I don't even know what a Clupo Day is. Damn it, this news is a total lie. I'm alive, but how? Don't you think that's weird? I'm going to assume that Fenric did it, honestly. I think Fenric announced your death. He's been doing some weird things in the background. I agree. I mean, I like super agree. This is extremely weird. Why do I have to let some crazy person who attacked me earlier follow me around and call me her big sister? <laughs> that's so mean, big sis. Desco didn't attack you. This is the first time Desco has ever met you. Huh? Now I'm even more confused. I've heard of love at first sight, but sister at first sight? Nah, uh. Not gonna do it. But, but Desco is your. Shut up! Nobody cares! They killed me off without my consent! Doesn't that bother anyone? Nope. However,. I don't like how they're burying the truth about our Lord's successful rise. The news reports state that all of the rebels in Hades were executed by the task force. There's nothing in here but lies. Hold on! More importantly, look at the second line of this article! They spelled pretty wrong! If they kill you without your consent, we just call that murder? Yeah. I mean, they didn't actually murder him, though. They, they killed him, like, publicly? By lying about his death? People have been doing that to celebrities for years, though. You just come out and you say, hey, I'm not dead. It's that easy. It says primey instead. What is going on here? As a pretty instructor, I cannot let this travesty slide. <laughs> so you're more concerned about a typo than falsely reporting that I died? It's hard to believe that the Information Bureau would make such a careless mistake. They pride themselves on reporting the facts. The Corrupterment must be using the Information Bureau to alter facts to their advantage. What should we do, my lord? We must invade the Bureau and bring them under our control. They will correct this typo. Bring them under our control? Are you stupid? That's impossible. It's located in a low-level demon area. But the Corrupterment uses the Bureau to control and regulate the flow of information. They're like the CIA or MI6. They've got intense security, and besides the staff, only the highest officials are allowed to enter. So, that means you can get in there, right? Of course I can! Who do you think I am? Then we don't have a problem. This is our Lord's command. Take us there, Rascal P. Coltrane! Rascal P. Coltrane? What? What was that, Fenric? Watch your mouth! I'm the president's son! I'm way more powerful than you are! That's even more of a reason for you to go. Seeing you alive should be more than enough proof for them to correct their false reports. I see. You're right! I can prove to them that I'm still alive! Fine. I don't have a choice. Sir Death the Measle will take you there. Okay, then let's get going to become the Netherworld President. 
You're not part of this, Fuka. Calm down. Desko will kill everyone that gets in her way of becoming the final boss. Desko will make you proud, big sis. I'm not your sister! With each of their hopes in mind, the new party's very first operation was underway. That being said, Death and Measle ended up tagging along with them after all. Episode 4, Death and Measle's Death. Lord Bell, I updated the base's theme song to celebrate the founding of our new party, dude. Oh, that's rather considerate for a printy. It's a sexy song with lyrics about Lord Valvatoris' heroic image, dude. It really helps motivate all of us. We're ready to help out, dude. A song to celebrate our new party, huh? Not bad. Oh, God. That was a lot of uh, bills and things that I can suggest now. All right, so we have uh, Desco, and I guess a Measle's not actually like equipable in the or. He can't be sent out, but we have Desko now. She uses monster weapons. Ooh, not a big fan of that. A girl who proclaims herself to be the final boss. She respects Fuka as her big sister. She magic changes into a sword. She turns into that thing. Oh, who are you, Rez? You're a skull mage. This is uh, who, who I use for you, is you're a skull mage. You do big fire damage. I can always transform you into something else, but for now, that's, uh, that's what you started out as. I do like the new bass music, though. It sounds pretty nice. Hold on. Let me see if I can... See, this is pretty catchy. <laughs> this is definitely better than the old music they had in here. Turn it back down, though. Not pleased about being a mage, but I'll accept my role in life. I'm sorry, Rez. I needed I needed a mage in the party. Like we have the main characters: Valvatores and Fenric, and then Fuka, and then Vol's in the party. He's a warrior. Dave is a female warrior, like a Valkyrie. MG's a sniper. Uh, Gravity and Biscuits is a rogue. You're the you're the mage. We have Petricor, which is a witch doctor, which is like also a mage, but they do debuffs too. And then there's Martin as the healer, and then we just picked up Desko, who I'm not sure if I'm gonna use because they use a monster weapon. Not a big fan of that. <coughs> then again, I'm not sure if I'm happy like using Fuka either. I'm assuming that eventually. And Measle will actually join our party, and I'm interested to see what he does. I think he's, like, probably also a magic caster. Like, there's other uh, classes in the game, but I have to, like, do Senate hearings to actually unlock some of them. There's uh, an archer, which is, like, a female unit that just, you know, they use the bow. Steel Wallman is a heavy knight. Uh, it's basically what that guy is in the top right here. He's just like a really big, heavily armored dude. And then... Let's see. What other classes do I have to unlock? A ninja, which I'm going to turn Vol into between this weekend and next weekend. A beast master, which is like a female warrior that boosts the stats of all monster units that you use, and I don't really use monster units. 
Magic Knight is another female unit that uses both magic and the sword. Uh, Masked Hero is a new one, I think, specific to this game. Which is, like... Uh, is he is he around here? There was, there was a Masked Hero around... Here he is. This is the Masked Hero unit. It's this guy who looks kind of like a printy, but he's got, like, a cape and a mask on. Rez says, I wish I was a top breeder. I'll make it happen. But also, JK. Did you ever play... And this is... I know this is, like, a weird thing for me to bring up right now, but did you ever play Danganronpa 2? I know that some people are not, like... You know, they're hesitant to even approach Danganronpa as a series because of the fans. Okay, so you immediately know, like, the character that I'm thinking of when you say Top Breeder. If you played Danganronpa 2. The, the the ultimate breeder was was his I think moniker I think at some point I'd like to get somebody into the stream and play uh, get somebody into the stream and play through Danganronpa 1 and then probably Danganronpa 2 and 3 because I already have those on Steam and I have already played through Danganronpa 1 once but if I could get somebody else to, like, come in here and react to it with me and do the voices and help, then uh, that'd be something I could run on stream. Hold on, I'm getting a call now. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of voices in those games, so I can't there's no feasible way for me to actually like do all those voices. So I'm I'm just not gonna attempt it by myself. I need somebody else in here. But if if I get somebody convince somebody to run it with me, then I would definitely stream that. <laughs> yes, they do quickly become less because uh people die. But I do need to step away for just a couple minutes, so I'm gonna set you on the AFK screen. And I'll be back to run a few more story missions.
All right, I am back. Also, yes, look at the little dancing pumpkins. They're having a good old time. If you're wondering where the, the funny gifts of the dancing pumpkins come from, uh, obviously I did not make those. Those are actually uh, little monsters that you can get in a game called Cassette Beasts. And if you haven't played Cassette Beasts before, it's really cool. I recommend it. That's another one of those games that I'd like to play live on stream sometime. Alright, um, thank you, Rez, for welcoming me back. What did I get? Do I have any items that I need to... Yeah, probably this is not a lot of defense. I should probably just... Uh, this is a Senate item. I just sell this doctor's coat. <laughs> What's a cassette, JK? Yeah. You, you're making, you're doing the JK, but I've had a kid, like, ask me what the hell a VHS was before, and it made me feel old. Because we were having a yard sale, and I had some VHSs I was selling in the yard sale, and the kid was like, what, what is that? It was very genuine, and it made me genuinely feel old. Let's see, there should be two more chests around. Here's one. And I think the other one was, like, over here somewhere. Yeah, it was behind the doctor. Strength salve. What is that? Uh, increase your stats. Okay. Five attack, five int, eight defense. I don't know. Uh... Give that to... Give it to Val. Always make your main character better. I was filled with feelings. Unfortunately, that feeling was pure hatred. Old, smart, and full of feelings. I would like to see what the next uh, few story missions are. Oh, we're just going right into something here. Um, big sis? Aren't you excited to see what kinds of enemies we're going to have to face, big sis? Hey, seriously, can you stop calling me big sis? Huh? I mean, I wanted a little sister when I was younger. But I really can't accept having some gross-looking monster for a sister, even if it is just a dream. Aw, oh, Fuka, that's just... that's just being a bitch. Stop that. Cut that out right now. <laughs> Tesco's so sorry for being so gross, big sis! It is unbecoming of a prinny. I agree, Petricor. Desko is glad that we finally got to meet each other. Desko will do her best to become a final boss. So please don't hate her. Hey, oh, come on. Why are you crying over this? Stop it. You're making it look like this is my fault. It is your fault. You didn't have to be so mean. But it is your fault. Yeah. Yeah. No matter what angle I try to look at it, I'm pretty sure it's all your- Yeah, get her! What? Is everyone blaming this on me? She's the bad guy here! She attacked- Stop right there! I don't approve of this! Uh, what? We must unite as one if we are to accomplish our goal of usurping the regime! It's a tactic that the humans call teamwork. As long as you belong to this new party, I won't allow any dissension among the ranks. Even if you hate each other, just get along. Even if we hate each other? Is there any point to that? Of course there is. You seem pretty confident. Fine. I don't want you to keep crying, so I give you permission to call me Big Sis while we're in my dream. That was a... Weird change in the music immediately. Really? Desko is so happy! But you have to swear absolutely. 
absolute loyalty to me. If Big Sis says it's white, then it's white. If Big Sis says it's black, then it's black. Got that? If you follow this rule, then you can call me Big Sis. Okay, if Big Sis says that crows are white, then Jessica will go paint them all white. Good. I don't think Pretty that's what sure she meant. This isn't how sisters are supposed to get along. Well, that's settled. Now, let's go invade the Information Bureau. If you consider this settled, all is for my lord. All right, Death of Measles Death. Ultra security. The Netherworld, a world supported by fear energy that is harvested from the human world. The demons here obey only one thing, power. They are divided into different areas, depending on their own personal power. Valvatoras and his party's first destination lies in the lowest level of the Netherworld. It's an area inhabited by demonic weaklings and lowly peons. It's been a while since I've smelt the foul air of the netherworld. The sound of screams echoing in the distance. The blood-soaked ground, the warm air. Oh, the sweet memories. Yes, the first time we met, during the Golden Age, when my lord reigned over this world as its tyrant. This place hasn't changed a bit. Ugh! Enough of this sappy crap! We need to hurry up and correct the false news reports! Let us drown in our nostalgia, kid. Desco, listen up. If you want to keep being my little sister, you need to act more girly. Oh my god, Fuka. Girly? But Desco wants to be a final boss. Yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that you're a girl. I don't want to have a tomboy for a sister. Fuka, you're basically a tomboy. <laughs> Do you look at yourself? Do you see that you carry around a baseball bat and hit things and scream at the top of your lungs? You think just because you have two big pigtails that you're not tomboyish? Uh, okay, then Desco will be girly. Good, then let's start with skin care. UV rays are your biggest enemy. Make sure you're careful about that, okay? Yes, Big Sis! Desko thought that heroes were her only biggest enemies, but Desko will add UV rays to her list as well. I don't know if those are even a problem down here in the Netherworld. Yeah, that's my point. Exactly. Rez got to it before I did. Is there even a sun around here? The hell are you two talking about? So this is it. I heard they went through quite a transformation since the last time I've been here. I didn't expect this. <laughs> its appearance isn't the only thing. They have the most advanced security system that was designed by the Science Bureau. No matter how small or strong they are, no demon can crack their security. It's pretty much impossible. Even if that demon is a final boss? They still couldn't do it. Have you heard of the Angel of Avarice? She can't even get through here. The Angel of Avarice? Who is that? It's a name that was given to a thief who apparently is an angel that steals from major banks and wealthy families. An angel thief? Ugh, what has the world come to? It's a good thing this is just a dream. I bet it's that pink-haired woman that we've been seeing in some of the like little clips in the tween episodes. The human world is definitely on the verge of its final corruption. Celestia must be going broke, since few humans have faith these days. Anyway... We successfully made it through the security system, which even that angel couldn't get through. And it's all thanks to me. Huh. Feel free to thank me all you want now. No. However, how is a dead person able to get through such tight security? Does anybody else see some contradictions here? Yeah, but I'm not dead. Soon, everyone will see that I'm still alive, and everything will get all ironed out. Uh, uh, please wait, everyone. A final boss can't walk so briskly. It's one of Desco's weaknesses. Sorry, Desco. Sneak, sneak. Oh, are you a primmy? Uh, yes, I 
sure am. I I mean, yep, dude. That's not a printy. I'm on the staff here, dude. So please excuse me now, dude. That's my my immediate guess is that is the Angel of Avarice we were literally just talking about. Oh, sure. Desco better hurry too. Oh, cool, some ninjas. You guys look rather suspicious. How did you get inside the building? Desco is not suspicious. She's just a girl who's training to become a final boss. Yeah, how could you accuse us pretty girls of being suspicious? Are you blind? I'm not a pretty girl, but I came here to complain about an article you bastards wrote. There's a typo. Fix it immediately. No, I'm just forget these idiots. Hey, take a close look at me. I'm Sir Death and Measle, the president's one and only son. As you can see, I'm still alive. Our orders are to eliminate any suspicious individual on site. Everyone, get in position. We're not suspicious. Uh, hey, wait, listen to me. I'm the Netherworld president's only. Nonsense. Our duty is to remove all intruders. Well, sucks to be you, Amisel. It looks like they have no intention of listening to what we have to say. Damn it! What's going on? How could this happen? Sucks to suck, Amisel. Alright, so I can't get through the blue, apparently. Uh, or the green. I can't get through any anything. Huh. Odd. Then how do I proceed? Uh, I guess we'll figure it out. I'll teach you a lesson. Yeah. Brace yourself. Watch this. Yeah. Time to bust some balls. Yeah. We're just gonna do some tower strats here. I know I keep coming back to it, but it's it's probably the so easiest way. Here I go. There. 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 Sorry, Desco. I don't think there's enough room out here for you. Nope. See, zero to dispatch. I'm sorry. Although, if Fuka keeps up her attitude, she's getting kicked off the team. Here I come! Sardines! A lot of those missed, but we still killed him. Crazy. Goodbye! So how do we, uh, do I just have to start throwing the tower around and killing these things? Like, what is, what is that? Can I just break the, uh, the block and it'll fix it? Alright. Uh, I guess I can go through here now. Oh, well, they're certainly coming after me. All right, well, if you're coming to me, I'll just uh, keep beating you up. Thanks for making it easy on me. Ooh, missed twice, huh? Well, you guys suck. Oh yeah, that guy's name is Cornhole. This one is named Sirius. Morris, the ninja. Leon, the ninja. Let's see, who else? Marlakoda. Enkido. Commando, the ninja. Um, Error, the ninja. And Innocent Heart, the ninja. I just love the, the randomly generated Disgaea names. They're so funny. The 
class office worker. <laughs> Ready? Nin Nin. Yeah, you're doing a whole lot, buddy. Incredible work as always. Uh, can I just move across this skull here? Sardines! Here I come. And then I think we just destroy this one block and we're fine. Oh, we can hit him through the block. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Nin-nin-nin. I mean, hey, if you're approaching, fine. Goodbye. Did that work out for you? I mean, y'all are just making this easy on me. I appreciate it. Go right ahead. Keep approaching me. Why didn't you attack that time? All right, now I have to blow up the block. Ready? Ah, uh, you did it. You dragged me a little bit closer. Whatever will I do? Besides that, I win. I win. I always win. Oh, I can make the wolf now. That's fun. No, don't skip event. Ugh. They're strong! Shall we continue? Let's fight until we can come to terms. I can go all night if we have to. Hey! Hold up! Stop fighting and listen to me! I'm the Netherworld President's only son, Sir Death Amiesel! I'm the boss of all of you! Huh? A measel? I read an article that said he's dead. I even heard they already had the funeral. Funeral? No! That was rather prompt. I'm impressed. Henceforth, no one will believe your story now. They won't even have the slightest interest in it. Uh, what difference does it make if they're interested or not? I'm not dead, I'm still alive! Why don't you believe me? Why is it so hard to believe that the news was wrong? I don't know. If the president's son was still alive, don't you think they would have mentioned it in the newspaper? That's what we're trying to get to the newspaper to do. Uh, so you guys only believe what you read in the newspaper? <laughs> How big of a loser are you? They won't believe it, even when you're standing right in front of them. Are you really the president's son? Dasko's starting to wonder. Shut up! This must be a mistake! Well, see ya. We have to go report the intruders to our higher-ups. I like how the voice actor even did a little, like, tongue-clicking sound there. He was like, well, see ya. Also, uh, let's stop them from doing that. No? 
No, we're just gonna let them hey, casually jaunt hey. off? That seems like a poor choice. They have complete faith in the news articles that were issued by the Corruptament. Have they given up the ability to view reality with their own eyes or to think with their own brains? Unfortunately, that's bound to happen to the masses. That's the reason information can be so easily manipulated. It's pathetic. Any source of information can alter the truth to their advantage and conceal or change any news that's harmful to them. Political. Any information that is floating around the netherworld nowadays can be overwritten by the Corruptament to their favor. Damn it. I'm not gonna stay dead. They will believe me. They will know that I'm alive. You thought this game was about sardines? I mean, between every episode we get a lot of cool sardine facts. It's also about vampires and werewolves and... Uh, printies and politics and, uh, let's see, what else? Video game tropes, uh, funny tower moves. This game can wear many hats, Petricor. They are all sardines in the eyes of a hungry cat. Me. Oh yeah, I did want to see what the... Hold on. Create my own original map. Create your own maps by placing a map editor on the base. That's neat, but no thank you. There was a new... I think it was this one. The legendary tree creates delusional relationships. That's that's an interesting pitch. Let's try. I, I want to make the legendary tree. It's only a 51% approval rate, though. Hold on. Before I do that, item. Punish sleeping senators. Sober up drunk senators for the Senate angel cake. Another angel cake. And then this one makes them fall asleep. Alright, we'll put some put some senator stuff in here. Cause it's a it's a kind of a coin flip and I'd rather make it lean my way. Call Senate. Alright, I would like to make the legendary tree. There it is. Alright, enable me the legendary tree. Uh, I don't really care if he's sleeping. He's only level 45. Be what you are. Uh, go to sleep. Doesn't look like there's any drunkies in here. What are you, 180? 20? 190? It feels like everything's kind of leaning my way. Leaning, yes. 45, 20. Yeah, everything seems like it's, it's already leaning my way. This guy could probably lean more. Yeah, take, take that. Take this hard candy, too, while you're at it. Uh, he has a preferred item, and it's the monster weapon, but I don't have any monster weapons in my thing, so... Alright, he's now strongly four. So let's just uh, start the vote. Begin democracy! Yay! I can enable the legendary tree. Where is it? Okay, put these in the thing.
overwhelming approval. I'm so good at politics. Go to the campaign Let's HQ. Settle this nightmare. I need to place the new evil symbol, the legendary tree. A very old giant tree in Hades. Confess your love under this tree to get a happy ending. You can develop a relationship with the leader. Hmm. I don't know what that means. I'll have to look that up later. Odd. Odd is what it means to me. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. Eh. Where, what was the rotate button again? There. We'll set it right there. Um, who has the leader symbol on this, actually? Oh, the leader symbol is the one right across from it. So Fuka's, Fuka's currently in the leader position. Uh, I don't know. Desco, you get in here because you're not literally on anything. I wonder if that's the, the mentor like, system that was in the other games, where you're allowed to learn magic and spells and stuff from other people by standing near them. Because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Alright, I think that's everything. Return to base. Alright, I think I have enough time for exactly one more story mission. So let's knock it out. Death and Measles Death, The Rotten Core. There they are! Intruders! This is your big opportunity. Make sure you show them that you're still alive. Rascal, your very existence is a fact. Go out there with confidence. Oh, I, I know that, damn it. Just watch me. I got this. Can't you see this? You low-class demons! Look at the skull mark on my hood! This proves that I am Death and Measle, the only son of the president of the Netherworld! Nobody else in the Netherworld would ever wear the mark of a skull. The skull is not a very interesting uh, decor to wear. Nobody else would do that ever. Right here! Me! Sora Measle! Look! I'm still alive! You sound so desperate. Oh, to be young again. You were in the ninth grade. Aw, Desco is jealous. She wants her own trademark, too. No way! Sora Measle? Oh, are they actually buying it? Yes! It's me! Oh, cool. They finally believe me! Psych! Did you really think I'd fall for that? How dare you tarnish the name of poor dead Sir Measle, you impudent brat! Never mind. Hey! But I am a Measle! See? Uh, the skull? That looks too generic. I don't think they're gonna buy it. Is, it is incredibly generic. It's just a skull! <laughs> So a trademark should be unique. Desco will take note of that. It is unforgivable to take the death of the president's son lightly. You are hereby sentenced to death. What's wrong with you, Rascal? You can't change anything by looking down at the ground like that. You were killed once by their false news, and now they'll kill you for a false crime! Are you going to allow that, Rascal? They said the words false news. Shut up and stop calling me Rascal. I'm Death and Measle. Fine. I'm going to prove to them that I'm still alive, even if I have to drill it into their brains. Hm. That's the spirit, Rascal. How thoughtful of you. 
You possess such an undemon-like quality. It is one of your formidable powers. I mean, he's still not fighting on our team. Like, he's not even an NPC in this, like, particular fight, so... <laughs> Alright, so there's really, like, nothing going on in this except for these dudes. So, uh, let's just beat up the dudes, I guess. I'll teach you a lesson! Cool. Oh, I got a new attack! It's called... Bl bloody Hole. Uh... Everyone, let's go! Let let's use the Bloody Hole. <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. That dot is raining. I'll teach you a lesson. Yeah. And it missed one of them. Cool. <laughs> Rez says that's what a British person calls me. Brace yourself. That's a little rude, I think. But hey, if you're into it. Oh, he could actually be next to Val for this one, and it'll give him a stronger chance to hit. Here I come! Dual canine fist! Neat! You all ready for this? Glorious hitter. Uh, there's definitely a way I can finagle that better. I want to see these new abilities that these people have. I can do anything in my dream. Play ball! That was nice, Fuka. I like that. This. Uh, Vol can not hit anyone, I don't think. All right, cool. Okay. Um. Okay. Dave can, and right there. Vol can Time to boost bust some Dave. Ball. So let's try that. Let's use the fight shot. And then shock fix one of these guys, probably. Thanks. Okay. Shoot him. Shoot him again. Um. Forgive me. Martin, can you hit him with the bow? You can, yeah. I actually think that Martin should shoot him with the bow first. And then we'll see how that combo works out. Oh, he died from that one. Cool. Can she hit it with a triburst? She can. Cool. I'm gonna do it. There we go. I think if the legendary tree works out, I should be able to teach both Petricor and Rez more magic so they're not just stuck on uh, fire and wind. More specifically, Petricor, because I kind of, like, reincarnated Petricor from a wind witch into the witch doc- the sorcerer, like, which he only knew the one wind move. So, needs to learn more wind moves, at the very least. Aww. Damn it, Gravity, you missed. <laughs> There we go. Mm -hmm. 
It won't hurt to teach Martin some offensive abilities either. I think all of the magic casters having a more diverse pool of uh, magical abilities would be nice. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Fight shot. Start the combo. Impale and drop. And then... How far can they go? Not very far, actually. Uh, you get him, Fuka. reach him. She can kind of reach him if I cheat. There we go. Mega fire. These look like they might miss. Honestly surprised that had like a 39% chance to hit. <laughs> I don't know, don't people have, like, photos of you or something? Do you see how superficial your authority is? At least you got through their security. If you want to, you can just go home now. You don't have to say it like that! You're the one who told me I could clear up the false news if I came here! Well, I lied. Now that we've gotten past their security system, we don't need you anymore. S -s so you were only using me? You're so cold-hearted, Fenric. That's right. You were used to further the achievements of our Lord's regime usurpation. You should be honored. You tricky bastard! <laughs> <laughs> You're flattering me. Uh, then does that mean the report of my death won't be changed? Have you been paying attention at all? We came here to take control of this place! Once that's complete, we can easily correct the false news. I, I see. Then we just have to defeat the chief of the bureau. Wait, that's right. The chief. I just have to talk to her. The lackeys only know what the newspaper tells them. But the chief should be another story. I'm going to let her know that I'm still alive. She should be able to overturn the false news. He's failed every attempt he's made so far. Doesn't he ever learn? I mean, he did for a minute there, and then uh, we gave him more hope, so... Inflicting some trauma might help him learn something. Shall we, big sis? Well, nah. I don't think we need to go that far. Heal me up, buttercup. All right, no prize. Um, okay. I think, yeah, we're at 8.45. It's not quite 9 o'clock, but I did say that was probably going to be the last uh, episode, or the last fight that I did for this stream. So, I'm going to call it here. And I would like to say thank you for everybody who popped in to watch, both Rez and Petricor, both of you. Super appreciate your viewership. I hope you're enjoying the game so far, even if you're just lurking and watching, you know, if you're taking some entertainment out of it. 
I appreciate it. I, I like sharing this game series that I enjoy so much with other people. I've always enjoyed Disgaea. I played Disgaea 1, Disgaea 2, uh, this one, Disgaea 5. I played Prinny, I Want to Become the Hero. I just really enjoy the series. I'd love to play Disgaea D2 and Disgaea 3 if they would freaking port them out of the PlayStation 3. Which, why haven't they yet, huh? But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I don't want to have to buy a PlayStation 3 just for those two games, so I'll just keep waiting for Nippon Ichi to make actual ports of them outside of the PlayStation 3. <coughs> but once again, thank you for watching. Uh, catch the old VODs on Dodon Gogo -Go at YouTube. Uh, watch for my schedule updates on Twitter at DodonTTV. And uh, I'll catch y'all later. Bye!